I created a video like this without even setting up my camera and I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, here's a demo. I just made over $1,000 while hitting golf balls in Dubai. If you look at the character, you can see how realistic the hand gestures are, the, the way it interacts. It's not just very robotic like I see on Synthesia, which is super robotic and I hate it. But here you can see it's using hand gestures, but the hand gestures are not doing the same thing over and over again. It's going according to what the voice should be like. And in some cases, if you look right over here, when it makes a point, it does something like this. And, you know, I haven't seen that before on, on any sort of AI. You could do it with Google's VO and, you know, it's quite natural. But Google's VO has more of a general application for creating different types of video, which is great. For Infinite Talk, you can create unlimited amount of speech or talking head videos without having to worry about all of the other things that happen in the background. So it's purely for lip syncing and that's its application specific task, which I think it excels really great at and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So first what are the benefits of having a video like this? I mean you've got, I could just record a video like I'm doing now but if you look at it I'm able to get something that looks very great like it's a studio like influencing background that's that you can create just about any background you want. It's got me dressed in a suit which you know it would take a lot of time to for me to dress up as smartly as this and also to set up the lighting to get the sort of studio quality look all while getting this AI to look as natural and authentic as possible, which I think is pretty amazing and just blows my mind. This particular voice I recorded myself using my microphone, so it sounds great and authentic, but you can clone your own voice and use that instead. Or you can get someone else's voice. So I got myself speaking a completely different language. And what that means is that I can create the same video, but for different demographics. So how did I do it? Well, I'm glad you asked. The first thing I would do is to take a picture of myself and use something like Nano Banana. So you can do this in multiple ways, but the first thing you need to start off with is an image of you. So I've got this image of me and I'm going to use that. Or I could even use this one. This one I use AI to sort of like warp me into a front view. It didn't look that great, but yeah, let's go with the original one of me. And I'm going to tell it, place me in a YouTube studio with glowing purple LED strips in the background it must be minimalistic as if i am an influencer talking to the camera all right let's see what it comes up with now you don't have to stick with nano banana there's a seed dance 4 which came out which is really amazing and they say it beats google's nano banana which i'm yet to test it out there's also flux context which is really great okay so yeah it just gave me as me with a background i should rather say no i am sitting at the table front view as if i am talking so sometimes with google's uh, banana banana sometimes it's a hit or miss sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't that's AI for you. But I'm sure by the time you watch this video, you'll probably have better tools to create this sort of imagery. At least we can see the fingers are looking great. My suit looks very taper. And the LEDs and plants in the background look really nice. Now you don't have to limit yourself to this influence scene. You can put yourself in a desert or skydiving or whatever. You can put yourself in that scene. I would recommend that you have a close view of your face so that it can, you know, model you a bit better. If you're a bit far away from the camera or if you're appearing small in the image, it might struggle with the lip syncing. But yeah, that's something we have to test, which you can think of as a marketplace for all of your AI APIs that you want to do. So if you have an open source tool, but you don't have the hardware to run it, you can run it on Fel, which is assuming that they have the model API that you can use. So over here, you can select text or audio, you can drag in your image over here. And if you have a recording, you can put it right over here. In the prompt, you could probably say talking like a podcaster. You can, in terms of the API, you can choose whether you want to use JavaScript, Python, as well as C URL. This is particularly useful if you want to run this via N810. Now, instead of running it through fel.ai, I created my own dashboard over here in which you could use the model that's running on file to have your own infinite talk workflow. Now, just note that this model is pretty expensive at 0.3 dollars per second if but that's only for a 480p video if you go to 720p you're going to pay double that at 0.3 dollars per second which is super expensive if you run the math that's 36 dollars per second which is insanely expensive i would use this model if i'm running it for a corporate client but despite the cost it's still cheaper than hiring a full studio as well as the influencer to to voice this whole piece so what's cool about this dashboard is that you can upload your image over here as well as your audio i'm going to use this one over here and i'm going to say i am talking like an influencer you can select the duration of how many frames if to five seconds which is super unproductive and costly 
So make sure that your audio length matches how many frames you're going to use. I think you can only do a maximum of 30 seconds, which you have to keep in mind. So you don't want to chunk your speech according to the natural pauses in your sentences and paragraphs. So you have a choice between generating 480p or 720p, which is a bit more expensive, as you know. And there's a high acceleration option over here. Now, I'll just note that this model takes very, very long. To generate a five minute video, it took about 45 minutes on Fell, which is really, really long. And if you've dialed in all of the settings, I would run this overnight and come back in the morning. So ideally, Infinite Talk would be great if you are doing short pieces where you want to have professional looking studio like visuals as well as without having to hire an entire studio and influencer. Over here, you can save your settings. It'll tell you whether it's ready or not. And under settings, you can just put in your API key, which you can get right over here from fell.ai. Make sure you load some funds before you start this whole project. So if you want to get this entire dashboard, make sure to comment automation down below, as I'll give you the link to the corporate automation library in which we have a completely free section where you can get access to our light version, which has a whole bunch of high quality free N8N workflows, as well as this dashboard that you can get right over yeah, if you click on it and right over here in the download section, you'll get access to download the entire code for free. So yeah, I know it's not anything, but you know, at Augmented AI, we believe that it doesn't matter what tool you're using as long as you are able to achieve the automation. So yeah, if you want to learn how to automate sales, then check this link right up here.